Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host and head admin of PML, Joe Zamora here. And with me, I have David Alanis, the coach of the Rillagoons. <clears throat> Alanis. Just saying. <laughs> Close enough. Closer well, than most people, I'd say. But welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Well, we'll go ahead and start the interview process. Um, what is your draft history? My draft history. Well, I've done. I think I've done close to thirty drafts within the last two years. I think that might. I don't think that's pushing. It. I think that's pretty close. And I've been to the finals in like five of them. I've won one draft, and I've been to the semis like eight times. Okay. So, I, I usually make it to the playoffs in every draft that I've, I've been in. Well, that's, a, that's hopefully, hopefully I can do it again. That's definitely good. I know you uh, almost won the championship in the singles PML earlier this year. Yeah. Uh, I lost to a goon, so goon squad, it's all good. <laughs> all right, and um, that leads us to the next question. What made you choose your logo? Uh, I think Rillagoon's my favorite Pokemon from the new generation, and it's one of my favorite Pokemon, like, ever. So, it fits well with the goon squad, like, it's just the theme, and... He's a fucking badass Pokemon, dude. And I know with an Afro. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you've uh, changed your logo plenty times in the past. Would you ever change it again? Oh yeah, most likely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then that leads us to uh, how you feel PML will be different from your other draft. Um, there's no legendary Pokemon, which this is the only draft league that I battle in that doesn't have legendary Pokemon. So that changes it for pretty much how you draft completely. So it's a lot different. You use a lot of uh, strategies that involve weaker or not as commonly used Pokemon, which makes it a lot more fun and more creative, I think. Well, that is a good honor. He said that from you. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Um, the spicy shit. Oh, yeah, you always gotta come up with the spicy shit. Gotta bring the heat every week. Who you? Who do you expect to take number one pick for your team? You're, interv you're interviewing everyone, right? Yeah. Alright, please let me have Rillaboom. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Mask it nicely. The first guy didn't really give an answer because he was like, I'm number eight and uh, I don't know what's going to fall to me. And I, I guess he didn't want to like give out who he wanted specifically. Well, everybody already knows who I want, so just let me have him. <laughs> <laughs> so it's nice to hear you actually give out that information. Yeah, I don't care. If I get him... I get them, you feel me? But I mean, I, I already expected that I'm probably not going to. So, um, usually when you're closer to the bottom of a draft order for a snake draft, you kind of want to focus your pick on your secondary pick because you can get a better Pokemon in PML. So, I get a much higher ranking pick for round two or tier two, which has a really good Pokemon in it too. So, I could probably grab something pretty strong like Incineroar, for like uh, Intimidate and Pivot, stuff like that. So I usually try to get a Sweeper as my T1, but when it comes down to it, I'm at the pretty much bottom, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how do you feel about the draft tiers? Uh, they're not bad. I enjoy the PML draft tiers. Yeah, we. I mean, you've kind of helped tier them up too, so... It's always yeah. We I, it's good that we tried to make them as balanced as possible. Right. 
trying to look at them to see what Pokemon are even available right now. <laughs> All right. Well, what is your favorite battle strategy? My favorite battle strategy for singles. Well, it's probably sticky webs or um, trick room. Just because those two, like the speed control is one of the most important things in, in a Pokemon battle. And if people aren't prepared for it, that's how you win very easily. <laughs> oh yeah, especially trick room and singles. Most people ain't ready for that. Exactly. And I usually kind of go, I usually build my team pretty bulky and kind of uh, like tanky, but they usually can hit pretty hard. So like trick room usually helps because you don't have to worry about picking the fastest fucking Pokemon right off the bat or anything like that, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can just worry about living four or five hits and killing five Pokemon at the same time. <laughs> well, you already told us that you want Rillaboom first pick. Um, is there a specific Mon that you want to get to fix the strategy you're going for in this draft? Uh, oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I mean, I'll probably get sniped specifically for saying it, but like, I already have a pretty good idea of everything that I want. Um, I'll probably build it similar to my other PML draft teams that I've used. <sighs> to pull off that, I like. I really want to get Vikavolt because it's one of my favorite Pokemon too. It's probably my favorite electric type. Mm -hmm. And it also has the sticky webs. It's also really slow, so I can use it in Trick Room as an offensive Pokemon or a pivot, or I can use it for sticky web support. So, or that, it's really, really good. Or that wacky... Um blunder policy set you like to go for that you can never get to work it, uh, it's going to one day man <laughs> it's you're, so cool you're, <laughs> you're always like that zap cannon was supposed to miss what the fuck yeah like, everyone's like dude how are you hitting 50 percent moves i'm like well i'm not trying to <laughs> that's the whole point of it i was trying not to hit that which that's actually a jesse thing i think jesse was the first one to start thinking of doing that with heatran Mm. So, that magma storm thing. Yeah, magma storm or uh, what's the other one? Not not eruption. There's another. There's like a fire move that does it. Oh, incinerate or something. Oh yeah. On Chandelure. On Chandelure. That's who he kind of started it with. Oh, okay. Well, that's very interesting. Sharing text with friends. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, and Infernape. Yeah, or not Infernape. Uh, Inferno. That's the move I'm actually thinking of. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's like 50% accurate. Alright, well, is there someone in PML that you're excited to battle, be it new or old? Oh, James. I haven't got to battle James in a PML draft before yet. Oh, fellow goon as well? Yeah. Alright, well, we got goons and crazy people all around. David's ready to smack up one of his own partners there. <laughs> I got to actually battle him today in a different draft. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to say to your uh, fans out there? Hmm. Uh, just let me have real boom, and we won't have any fucking problems, motherfuckers. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Well, that was David from the Rillagoon Squad. Rillagoon Squad? Hell yeah. Thank you for uh, the coach's interview, and... Um, We'll look forward to seeing you after the draft. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.